Welcome back, Brights. I try to keep everything positive on this channel. I like that I can make people laugh and smile every single day. It's literally the most amazing job, but sometimes that's not how life is. I'd like to be real with you today and share why I'm so upset. Like, why is this upsetting me so much? It's so stupid, but let's get right into it. <gasps> So I had this idea when Bee Swarm Simulator came out with gifted bees and leveling that I was going to get every single gifted bee there is in the game. Well, other people did it before me and I found out that it was way harder than I expected it to be when I tried and that it was going to be either extremely expensive or extremely difficult to achieve. So of course, there was plenty of things I could do for all the episodes and they would still be awesome episodes. So I did choose to go the course without breaking my bank from spending it on tons of Robux. I made a few videos, one where I was looking at the update, one where I was getting event bees that I didn't have, and also, you know, getting level bees and just you know, progressing in the game with this new update. And then I made another one where I made a ton of progress and I said that the next time we were going to get a ton of gifted bees. So I was really happy with all those bee swarm episodes. You guys loved them. I thought they were great episodes and I was super pumped to do it. the next one and make it like epic. So I grinded and grinded and even DJ got on my account sometimes when I was sleeping just to help out. He would grind as well and make honey. So we grinded until I had almost half a billion honey. That's a lot of honey. So I was like, I'm gonna make this epic episode and it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be spending half a billion honey and we're gonna make a lot of progress. So my goal for this current episode that I was supposed to upload that I'm telling you about right now was to get a new hive spot, which was gonna cost me another 210 million honey because it goes up every time you get one. I also wanted to start star journey number three. I was basically finished with star journey number two and I just needed to kill some fire ants. So I was like, okay, so I'll try to get the diamond ant amulet um, or at least in the progress kill the fire ants that I need to kill so I could go on to star journey number three and that would be part of the episode. Uh, I also wanted to finish the next quest in my mother bear quest because when you finish star journey, when you finish the whole star journey, which is five quests, and when you finish mother bear's quest, you get a star treat from each of those and I could really use those star treats. I wanted to also use a bunch of royal jellies and hatch these two diamond eggs that I had um, in my inventory just to see if we could get lion bee, which is the only bee I don't have, and to get, you know, some gifted bees. So I was hoping the diamond eggs or the royal jellies would help me out in that sense. So it sounded like a lot to do in one video, right? It sounded like it was going to be a pretty epic video spending half a billion honey on treats and a new hive spot and using all these royal jellies and, you know, getting a diamond ant ant amulet, right? Let's just say the whole episode was a complete mess. So the episode started off super smooth. I got my new hive spot. We spent half of my honey that I had right there. And I was excited to hatch a diamond egg into that hive spot and see what we were going to get. So I hatched it. And of course, with my luck, I get a ninja bee, which I already have a gifted ninja bee. So I was a little upset, but I was like, yeah, I mean, Let's try again, you know? So I had 68 royal jellies, so I decided I was going to try every single 68 royal jelly and see if I got a gift to be or lion bee. I mean, at some point I have to get it right because literally in the last episode I did that many royal jellies as well. Some of you told me that um, people did like hundreds of royal jellies and never got gifted bees, so I guess it's super rare. But I used all my, my royal jellies, never got lion bee, never got a gifted bee. I was super upset, but I was like, okay, we're gonna move on. And I guess the next best thing to do here is evict this bee that I just hatched here and use my other diamond egg. That's my only hope at this point. So that's what I did. And once again, we hatched a diamond egg and it was a baby bee. <laughs> Why? Why you do this to me? I was so sad, but I was like, all right, I still have a lot of other stuff to do, so we're gonna do, do that other stuff right now. So I move on, I, I give like the treats that I have in my inventory to some of the bees to level them up, and yes, I'm making sure I give the correct treats to the right bees, because if you didn't know, um, like strawberry and blueberry and, and pineapple and sunflower seeds, they all 
Um, some of the bees favor those seeds, and when the bee favors uh, a certain flavor, it doubles the amount of points, so it makes a big difference. So yes, I've been doing that, so I went ahead and I did all that. And the next thing I wanted to do was level up three more bees to a level eight because I knew I had enough honey to do so. So I was like, all right, I'm about to get three more bees to a level eight. We're gonna be so strong. We're gonna kill that ant challenge, you know? So I was like, my mother bear quest needs to be getting five more bees to a level eight. So I'd be making a big dent in that quest um, by doing that. So I was like, let's go buy a ton of treats. We have, we had like 200 and something million left at this point. So I went and bought like 21,000 treats. And quickly, I realized I made a huge mistake by buying all the treats at once because you can only give a maximum amount of 100 treats to a bee or you can do all treats. I would have rather done like a thousand at a time, but they don't have that option. So I was like, oh no, I have to click 100. Like I have to actually give treats to the bee, like drag it over and click 100. 50 times per bee. It's gonna take forever, but I guess I gotta be careful and do it because, you know, I just spent all my honey that I spent like the last week grinding for. So I was doing that and I started rambling and... <sighs> well... Whoa! Wait, what? It's a level 8? How? No! I gave all my treats to Ninja Bee. I wasted thousands of treats on one bee. I was so upset, guys. I literally was gonna cry. I was like, no, this was gonna be like the big epic part of the episode. Like, I needed this. I needed this for the ant challenge. What am I doing? So I got Ninja Bee halfway to a level nine, which is kind of interesting, but like, I spent that many treats on one bee. So I was like, all right, it's okay. I need to get it together so I can do something good for this video. My last my last resorts were gonna be the ant challenge and the star journey. So I was like, I gotta kill those fire ants. I gotta go up there and start the next star journey, you know? So I get in and I'm like, guys, I'm not even lying. Like I'm really good at the, the ant challenge now. Like I usually make it till the time runs out every time. It's just my bees aren't strong enough to get to the, the diamond ant amulet yet. I usually get to an 80. So I was like, Okay, well, I have a stronger bee now, like, maybe I'll get further. I go in, I don't know what happens. I, I guess it's because I was recording frustrated that I just, like, spent all those treats, and I died, like, right away. Like, what? I don't die right away on the ant challenge. Like, so I was, like, really upset. I got so angry, and I'm like, all right, let's just try this again. So I straight away go right back, and guess what? I have no bees. Your bees go to sleep after you have an ant battle. So I'm sitting there in the next ant challenge, wasted an ant pass with no bees and every second counts in that or else you're never gonna beat your highest score. Uh, yeah, so I wasted another one and I, that, that was just like, I was getting very upset by this point. And so I went back to my hive, I was waiting for my bees to rest and I decided to go back and try again and I got an 80, which is my highest score, and at least I, I killed the rest of the fire ants that I needed for my star journey. So I was like, all right, let's get the star journey number three started. So I go up there and I'm like rambling. I have no idea even what I'm talking about at this point. I can't remember. <laughs> and I spam clicked through the whole star journey dialogue. That was supposed to be some of the substance to my episode. <laughs> I spam clicked it. Well, I don't know why. I don't do that. I normally read it. So I completely skipped everything that, that I was supposed to read to you guys. And then that upset me a lot. And I was like, wow, I really just did that. So at this point, I'm like super upset. I'm like on the verge of crying. And I don't know what I was doing, but I went to pull my web browser up for some reason. And I accidentally clicked on my editing software, Vegas. Who likes pineapples? Oh no, I just accidentally... Oh no, what am I doing? And then I got, I was like, no! And then I like went to click on the, the browser again and I clicked on Photoshop and I'm opening all these programs. Instantly my audio gets disconnected from my whole gaming setup because the, opening my editing software caused that. So I had to completely close out of my editing and gaming, like my, because I opened up multiple programs where I had to do the whole thing over again. So I'm idle and AFK in the game. Uh, by the time I get it all back set up, I come back to the game and I see some brights standing around me, very upset that I'm not talking to them and calling me mean. 
and saying most YouTubers would say hi. And I felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, because guys, like I was like completely emotional by this point because of everything that just happened. And that was like the cherry on top. People think I'm mean. And I'm like, no, I I'm recording. Like I tried to cheer them up and like, like tell them I was recording, but I had to do it quickly. I tried to fix that so I could end the video and then talk to them. So then I click start record and I'm just like staring at the game. Like what the heck do I do now? Is there anything else I can do to add to this video that looks like I did anything? And I get really frustrated and upset because I can't think of anything else to do that would be quick. And I turn around to complain to DJ because DJ was laying on the couch at this time and kind of get his opinion on what I should do and explain what's going on. I turn around and I'm like whining basically. I don't know what to do what I do at this point. And I see DJ's mom standing right there. And she's like trying to be silly by like sticking her hand on the green screen behind me. And like she's like... She thought it was like live or something. I'm like, I'm not live. <laughs> I couldn't explain. I tried to explain briefly that it was like upset and it was going wrong and everything. And then, so she was standing there and I was like, I, I gotta do an outro. <laughs> and I'm like a really shy person. And I was like super embarrassed by it. So I just like said the fastest outro I could say <laughs> because she was looking for me to see uh, if I wanted to watch Big Brother. I ended the video and it was just, very, I was very upset after the video was over. I was like, I can't upload that, that was a disgrace, I messed everything up. DJ's like, well, why don't you explain it to them? <laughs> I was like, that might be an interesting video, a, a gaming vlog video, hmm. So that's what this is, I guess. So the moral of the story is, things go wrong for everybody, guys. And if you see a YouTuber just sitting there not talking to you in a game, maybe they're going through something. <laughs> maybe maybe they're trying. They're not even looking at the game because something's happening, you know? I mean, that's not the moral of the story. Moral of the story is, I just wanted to tell you about my bad experience in Beast Swarm Simulator yesterday. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you did, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if this gets a lot of likes, then maybe I'll do more videos like this because it's kind of fun actually. It feels like I'm like getting some like steam off, you know, like I'm like ranting and getting some like annoyance off my chest. So I was like, it feels like I'm like talking to a therapist or something. <laughs> I love how this is like about a game. Like this is like, why am I so upset? I don't know. It's it's a game. It's a game. Why am I upset? This is such a stupid problem. <laughs> I acknowledge that. I think what I'm upset about is how much time I've worked on it and then I just flipped through it all down the drain. That's what's upsetting. But I guess it happens to everybody. I guess this is where I'm gonna wrap up the video. If you're new, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to join the Bright Army. It's circle with our channel icon on it. And while you're there, turn that bell button on so you can uh, be notified every time we upload. Make sure to check out some previous videos you may have missed and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!